Hello, everyone. I have a Timu haul. And I have two orders, but I separated them out. This one is going to be strictly crafts. Probably tomorrow I'll upload the other one when I do it. But I wanted to do one that was nothing but crafts. So if that interests you, keep a watching. Okay, we're going to start with some ink pads. They were 418. I tried to cut everything open so you didn't have so much noise. Oh, oh looks a little cracked. Oh, there's that looks scuffed. But they are four colors in each one. And I thought I'd like the set because this is browns, greens, blues, and purples. Because I can ink stamp, depending on what which one I use, I can pick a color and not have only one color, one shade of purple, one shade of blue, and one shade of green, and so on. So I got is a package that had as many as many choices. So I'm liking this set. I just hope that it's not dried out. <laughs> oh no, it's not dried out. At least the yellow is not. Oh, do I have a piece of paper around here? That's not dark color. Oh, look at that. That was just my finger. <laughs> That's pretty good. Now the true test will be is how long will it take to dry. And this is kind of an absorbent paper. This is actually stickers on the other side. So it's like paper sticker. Goodness. A little goes a long way it looks like. Alright, we'll see what happens with that. How long does it take to dry? <laughs> and then, here's the one that was interesting. For 528, you get 10 colors. And it's called Fingerprint Ink Pad. So I thought, oh, wait a minute. I thought it was one of each color. Well, look at that. Oh, this is even better. Oh my goodness. I am so excited. Oh, these colors just keep getting pretty. Oh, yes. Oh my goodness. You get 20. I did not read. Clearly, I did not read. That is a ton of colors. Oh, I am so excited. Y'all, that was only five. 528. For 20 of them. So let's see, which one should I test? We'll go with this vibrant blue. And I barely touched it and it showed up on my finger. And this is using your fingers. Oh, no kidding. Oh, I'm liking that. Because you're using your fingers and you're blending. Oh, how cool is that? Oh, I'm so excited. Because I have a couple of things that I'm going to will make a little bit more sense as I go. That's pretty, too. I'm going to have to test all these colors out. Oh, goodness. It's been a day, and that was exciting. Because <laughs> I did not read, and it didn't even have a sticker on it. Oh, it even says on the box, 20. <laughs> That's funny. And the ki I guess kids can use it, too. Well, that is... Something else, huh? Yep, 
Pretty excited about that. Oh, I am so excited. Yes, that was a great deal. Because what follows is stamps, which I wanted to use those to, let's start with this one, to once I stamp it, to add those colors to it. And you can use this for scrapbooking, all kinds of things. So I found this eight pack of stamps. It was $7.48 and I got a rebate already. And it's down to $6.74. And I didn't want to cut this because I don't know where I'm going to put them in. So I kept the bag intact. I've got, let's say, bay leaf, vanilla, chili pepper, rosemary, not sure what that is, mustard, is mustard seed, but it has different ones where I can use those to blend color into them. So that pretty flower will be whatever color ink I choose to use, and then I can add the color to the, the petals. Same for the leaves. See, this is a pretty, pretty nice set. Got different types of leaves. There's double flowers here. There's a flower there. Flower here. This is another pretty one with a bunch of flowers. And the rest is leaves. Oh, I have one right here. And those are leaves. Oh, those are interesting little flowers. They're heart shaped. How cute. Those can be like those, that heart drop bush. I had one a long time ago. And you paint them red and that would, that would be pretty. Oh, there's some sunflowers. From different type of flowers on here. Oh, how pretty. And then some more types of flowers and leaves and petals. Oh, so pretty. Oh, these are hard to see. Oh, this one's roses. There's at least three roses. One here, here, here. Oh, and then there's the stem ones. Looks like an iris here. That looks like a rose. I think this could all be a rose. Oh, yay. <laughs> and you got some boxes. See, this is this would be so cute. Like a tag. And I don't know what that says. Oh, I had it the back side. Oh, so you probably, oh my goodness. Now you can see them. Hold on. I had them up on the back side of them. Okay, so let's go with this one you haven't seen. That is so cute. The watering can, a butterfly, a sunflower, and it says sunflower, and this says garden. This could be cute. This looks like maybe part of like a post uh, postcard. These are cute. Now we got some roses here. Oh, those are pretty. What happened here? Looks like maybe the sticker came off of the stamp. Take a peek at that. Because I like them so far, it doesn't mean if there's nothing, something's wrong with them. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, okay. 
so it's shifted. So the print is on the sheet. So you'll put them back in the same spot, but it doesn't show you on the stamp itself. So it's decent thickness to them. I've never had rubber stamps before, so this is my first time. I don't recall them being that way with other retailers. This one looks a little mangled right there. So that one's not even going to look right when you stamp it. Hmm. Got ridges. I don't feel like there's a lot of ridges. So I'm definitely gonna have to test these out because I hope that they don't suck. Because <laughs> I would be so disappointed. Because I didn't want to spend a ton of money on a new project, new items for a new project. But I've been dying to try these stamps. I'll fix it later. This is, yeah, okay, I have this one. And has the different um, herbs. And there's the stems, the flowers. There's another one that looks like a stamp, a postage stamp. And there's more leaves and different types of flowers. And there's another one that looks like a postage stamp. I'm going to have to test these out to see how well they work. But, me thinking I'm being smart, I got these for $248. These are the stamps. That's what happens when you don't read measurements you do but you don't process them so i can get away with barely fitting some on i could get can i get that little one on there and it's going to come up short so i'll have to use the next size these are acrylic um stamp plates Too small, that'll work for the butterfly. The very small things it'll work for. The very smallest one. So, I'm suspecting that I picked a not a good set and it would cost you more to get these. They have a film on them, but they're acrylic, they're clear. I'm going to suspect that there's better sets out there, and I just didn't pick a good set. Because I had put in my cart a couple of other ones that were larger. And they went out of stock, and I just let it go. <laughs> so I'm a little disappointed on the size. That's not really Timu's fault. It's pretty much mine. So, will this one work? No, oh, see, that's, it's too small for this big one. It won't work for this one. And I don't think that they join well enough together to do it, putting them two pieces together. I might be able to. I may have to puzzle piece <laughs> to get to get like this this size because that's going to come up short too for the most part it looks like that these stamps will work it's the the largest ones that it won't like that one's not going to work it'll miss the edges so this one definitely won't this one is too big so i definitely I'm going to need to get 
a much larger one. So we're going to have to do some testing though, because if these are garbage, I'm not going to go buy another acrylic block. So well, there's those. And then here's the next stamp. Which I'm curious as to how fast that finger stuff, finger uh, print ink dries. And I'm wondering if I could actually use those colors for this. I'm going to have to find out. But I thought this was cool, swirly designs. I just hope that they're cut well. But again, I'll have to test those. And this was $1.68 and I got a, a rebate and it's down to $1.52. So, did I tell you that on this other one? Yeah, this other one was $7.48 and I got a rebate and then the price now is $6.74. And then this one went down also. I paid $161 or $178. And it's now 161 and I got a rebate for this also. Uh, there it is. Sorry about the noise. Hopefully, it'll lessen now that everything's cut open. But these are pretty cool borders. Different patterns. So these could be fun. Depending on... What project do you decide to do? But there's there's several of them. And the way it looks like is they will fit. Like if you put one down on your page. Like put one down on your page. And if your page is longer. Like this one is. And you go to put one on this edge. You just take it and re-stamp it and it'll butt right up to it so that you can get a clean edge and it won't look as pieced together. That's pretty cool. Is this a better color background to show you? I was going to use this and I forgot. <laughs> so those are pretty cool. These might be some designs that interest you. And if you want to know how big they are, I'm sure I could. I mean, like, this one is three inches. So one of these larger ones are three inches, so your stamp would have to be the minimum three inches. The stamp would have to be, so this rose would be two by two. So I would say your safe bet, if you're going for these, would be, see these are the spice ones, this is cute. Two by two, but... Now we have that very large one, which looks to be one, two, three, four, four and a quarter. So I would say go for a five for safe because that size of it is pretty large. And then these are pretty long too, so yeah, three inches, two and a half. So yeah, so I would say if you're gonna go for this set, I would get a stamp that's five inches to fit the very large ones. But they're cute. I just hope that they're good.
Now, this one would be comfortably in three inches. So, yep, yeah, there's that is. And we have these, which were $1.18. And you fill them up with water. Put water in this little thing here. Screw the top back on. Maybe. <laughs> oh, helps if I went the right way, right? <laughs> and then you pop that off. And it's a brush. So my thought was this would be a great idea for... People who um, do Mod Podge and you want parts of the design, but you don't want the whole design and you don't want to cut it. You don't want a rough edge. And so my thought was, I've seen people do it with a paintbrush, but they have to keep dipping it into the water. And this way you won't have to. So I thought for at least that I could use that for it. And there's three of them, so you could use one strictly for napkins. I'm sure you could do some kind of uh, water paint type things. And I think that's kind of what they were thinking. Oh, the tips are different. Oh, that's why it said small, medium, large. That makes sense. So there's the large one. And then, this is, I think this is the medium. Where's the tape? There it is. And then, that's the small. So, hopefully they hold up well, but you could go for more detail, not so much detail, a little bit of detail. If you wanted to save these all for just doing Mod Podge with the napkins, this is a great deal. For $1.18, you're not constantly going back for your cup of water. And then there's also the chance you might spill your water. Because that would be me. <laughs> okay, so I got paper. Don't really need the paper. I just thought I could... Make a beautiful sign with some of it. And then, oh, this is really, oh, that's like a, what's it called? I forget. The, it's a type of paper that you can use in scrapbooking that I have used in, in scrapbooking. But it's got that a pretty pattern on it, but it's like a vellum, I think is what they call it. But that's super pretty. Could use that for something too. But here's a whole book of floral paper. And it's two each. And you can piece these together. You could use this in scrapbooking. Oh, this is so pretty. You could do a patch background on a spring sign. So pretty. Oh, I'm excited. I just got to come up with more than one project. <laughs> That's super pretty. I'm liking the patterns. I can just see a sign already with multiple of these. And there's some that go really well together. Super pretty. It's like vintage paper.
Chance game colony. I don't know what that is. <laughs> that cute little old Calib Calibum. Oh, I can't even say that word. And it's got some. Oh, that's pretty too. So many patterns on that one. It's like stamped writing that you can barely read. Like it's old paper. That is so pretty. And it's not super thick. So it's rumored flower letters. But they have different patterns. I think there was maybe six or eight patterns. But super pretty. And it was only three forty eight for all these pages. And the ideas are endless. And it's bound at the top like a a scrapbook pay book would be. That's super pretty. Excited about that. And then I found some more paper. And this was three ninety eight. Okay, now give me that page. That's the cover one, but it has all these pages in it. They're acid free. I wonder is this one acid free? doesn't say. I wonder if it said it in the description if it was acid free. Because if this is not acid free then you don't want to use this in scrapbooking. I don't know. I may have to go back and look at the description to see. But these are acid free. How cool is that pattern? Good thickness to this. Oh, that's two. Not super thick. Two of the others. A decent thickness. That heavy, heavier duty cardstock. That's a cool pattern. I don't know. I wonder if you could join them up somehow. To maybe do a sign of some sort. I don't think that would match. I think it would work less obvious this way. You could cut out shapes, images with, and have some dimension to your, whether you have animals or flowers or shapes. There's that one. What did I do with the other one? Hidden one in the bottom side. This looks like watercolors, like tie-dye. This one was called Splashing. And you got two of these. They're like watercolors, is what it's like. That one's pretty with all those shades to it. And you got this one. Oh, yeah, they were stuck together. Those colors, more vibrant. Interesting pattern on that one. This is like a um, a crackle pattern. This one's an interesting one. Not sure what I would ever use this one for. Who knows? This one's super pretty. I love the color combination. That is so pretty. Ooh, I like this one. This one reminds me of uh, acrylic pour. 
How pretty is that? I love doing acrylic pours. You never know what you're going to get. And this looks like some more watercolors. Pretty combo. And this looks just like the other one. Just different shades. Interesting. Alright, and there's those. I just wanted to get a mixture of paper because my the paper I have is pretty set because I usually buy books. So you're getting a set pattern in the books and not so much as a variety. It's cheaper to buy by the book, especially when they're on sale. So then I got these napkins. Which I thought were super pretty. Packaged a little squashed. Which is why you have the seam here. But you can iron that. And iron out these seams. And these seams will go away. It's textured. It feels textured. So that look of it looking like it's got little divots in it. It does. It's two layers, so you definitely have to remove one of them. But for the purpose of Mod Podging. <coughs> Excuse me. But I noticed that they're super easy to separate. So just separate it, and then when you Mod Podge, you're going to need to paint the base. So this you can use to clean your hands because <laughs> you're going to get dirty hands when you might punch. But see, you can see the darkness through it. So you're definitely going to need to do a base coat, whether you do it in any one of the colors. You can do it in a soft yellow, a soft pink, a white. And then you're applying this on so the image will pop out better. But I thought this was super pretty. I really didn't need a whole package, but how do you buy one napkin? I forget how many's in it. But it was $348. Kind of expensive for napkins. But I was looking for a pattern that was throughout the whole napkin to do a sign. Whereas most of them are blocked for this pattern and then it's mimicked, mirrored in each square. And I was looking for one that was not separated into the blocks. That if you placed it down, you would get an entire image. So that was my goal, which is why I picked this one. The pinks are a little bit more pink than I thought. I mean, it's... I guess it's, I need to look at the fact that doing a spring sign would work. And I could even at some point somehow incorporate some of this paper into it. So who knows? Don't know what I'm going to come up with yet, but that's the plan. All right. And then... I got these pretty flowers, which I think uh, it was a, it's a 30 count for 348. And I think they look like hydrangeas. I love hydrangeas. So, sorry, noisy bag. So they're going to need some time to fill out, but these are super pretty. Got a cream color, a minty greenish, and orange, 
orangey raspberry color. Purple. Oh, sounds like a truck went by and he ain't downshifting. <laughs> so those are super pretty. They kind of smell a little weird. These will definitely have to, I'll have to air them out because the smell will annoy me. So, but I have a project in mind that I want to to do a centerpiece. I'd done a centerpiece for Easter and now I want to do a, a centerpiece for spring using the white tree branch that I it's in a previous video and I had a Easter truck in it. The video is terrible but I want to make it look like there's hydrangea bushes so that was what my thought process was with these. And I still think they're they're super pretty, but let's think a little bit. I sound like stiff silk. Because of course they're small pieces. You can see the underside, it's assembled in that shape. And then they've got them curled. And they're not just one color. You got some yellow in this one. You got two shades of raspberry in this one. You got a cream, yellow, and pink in this one. I mean, gorgeous colors. So this one's got cream and variations of the darker purple and it looks like that's got a darker creamy yellow super pretty stinky usually the, the flowers that I've bought previously didn't have a smell to them so it dep I guess it depends on which store in Timu because I I got like 25 roses for 10 bucks or something like that. And they didn't have any stink to them and they came in boxes. So they were your typical size. Some of them were velvet, which I didn't realize. That had no description. And I thought I was buying silk flowers. They're not. So those, I think I bought four batches of them. And none of those stunk. But the greenery that I've gotten. And it seems like anything bunched in a bag. Stinks. But anything that the. I guess better quality I guess. Alright. So I got some rollers. Because I bought a bunch of stencils. And I wanted to see if it was easier to do stencils with a roller and they were a dollar fifty seven and they already knocked down the price and gave me a rebate to a dollar thirty eight so for a dollar thirty eight we'll have to test it out there's one inch two inch and two and a half inches and you get three of them so, it's been a long time since I did a sponge. I know you can stamp sponge. Like, I have some of those. So, it's, I'm pretty much testing out to see how things work better. I haven't had stencils. I bought stencils from Dollar Tree, but I haven't really used them. just kind of bought them because I bought them. Yeah. This time, I, I was more selective when I bought st uh, stencils. I mean, I could make some stencils on my ticket, but at least I can reuse these more than once. Whereas when you do it with vinyl, you got one shot and done. Um, I'm not buying the stencil paper for the Cricut or the vinyl or the, I forget what they call it, 
pretty much the material that the stencils are made out of. I'm already neck deep in vinyl. I'm not buying another one. So it was easier, especially if my machine acted up and it didn't cut right. Or I popped out the parts that weren't supposed to be popped out. And so I didn't really want to fight to get a nice stencil when I have a bunch. So this had to do it. So it was a dollar seventy-eight. It's a black ink pad. And you can stamp your baby's feet. Your two-legged baby. It has two cards. Or you can stamp your pet's foot. So I'm going to do, if I can, if they'll let me, do the paw prints to all my babies. At least four of them might let me. Kitties, I don't know. <laughs> and I may not have any uh, much luck with the puppers either. But that's what I wanted to try. See if I could get their paw prints. Would love to get their paw prints. So then I got these pens. Got another set. I bought a set previously. I have finally they restocked the solid color ones. So that this is the graded, and this is the. Uh, there's only one store that has these, and they're solid colors that are coming in my next order, which they already gave me a five dollar credit because it's not going to be here in time. Yet it's in the United States right now, so. It's not that far away, but they still gave me $5 credit. And these two orders actually came both today. And on before the last date that they give you. So I bought another one of the variation ones. Gradient is what they call it. Gradient for three forty eight. So I have two sets of the solid colors coming, and I have another set of beads coming. You can't use regular beads because the holes are not big enough. So you have to buy specifically large hole beads. So I had to buy some. These were four eighteen. They have the metal rings in them. Are these, are these the glass ones? I can't remember. No, nope, these are plastic. Which is okay because the weight is going to make a difference when you're doing this on um, the pen, the end of the pen. But these are different variations, different types of beads with different colors. So the pastel pink and a mixture. This one's got a crackle finish on it. This one's striped. There's another striped one, totally different colors. This one looks like a crackle. This one's all blinged out. Oh, that's a um, divider. Oh, there's another divider. Separate between two sets of beads. I'm just dropping them all over the place. That one's got a rectangle type bead on it. This one's got some sparkly. This one's three tone. Got a frosty one here. In there. Oh, this one's got flowers on it. Inside. Oh, that's super pretty. I don't know if you can see that. That is super pretty. Oh, sorry. I thought I thought the camera shut off on me. <laughs> I was gonna get irritated because. Flat my jaws. <laughs> this is a purple and white one. So that's one set. I liked the differences in them. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I got a set of dividers. This is a hundred piece for a dollar seven. And then I looked at them and I thought, oh no, these are not gonna fit on the pen. 
but they have little fake stones. So it's bling. Silver with the bling and the circle. Now I get this puppy open. There we go. So let's see if I can get an angle for you to see. Oh, that's really tiny. But they're dividers to go between colored beads. So those were super cute. Okay, and then I got this set of beads. These are these the glass ones? I know I bought glass ones. These kind of sound. And these came in a container. These were $5.39. I think these are the glass ones. If I can get the bag open. There we go. Yep, these are glass. So these have more weight to them. And I think they're called painted or something like that. You get 24 of these. I forget how many is in that one. Um, 24. Something like that. These are 24. And it's almost like the color is in the glass. So you, I think they called these painted or something in that reference. They have different colors. This one is like green and yellow, which I think there's a hint of blue in there too. So when the light hits it, you get the different colors. But I thought those were super pretty. So these were fun. And they're definitely glass. So this will weigh your items down. So think it through before you stick a glass bead on one of these pens if you do it. Because they're definitely some weight to them. The plastic ones. They're super light, so that won't be any problem. I did one previously, which these are the beads I had from my stash. Um, I don't know, I think Walmart maybe? I got a bunch of beads. So, these are glass. So, it definitely, or this one's glass. Yeah, these are all glass. It definitely puts some weight to the end of your pen. So just keep that in mind. So what I would like to do is give you a little craft. So I have this pink and yellow gradient one, which I don't think I'm gonna, maybe I will do. Oh, and the pen turns here and there you write with the inks in this part. And there's the hole where the pin goes back in and it screws in. So there's that part. Do we want to do this pink? Nope, don't like that pink with it. Alright, so probably going to skip this one. Use this one more to the other set of pens. That's a pretty opal type pink. So, surprisingly enough, I thought that these were a waste of money because I didn't think the hole was big enough. But it is. So I was excited that I didn't waste. So, I'm gonna pop out a couple of more of these. Don't know if I'll use them all, but that's more of a purple. This is a pink. So let's see. I can stick another one of these in. Just takes a little bit more to get 
that out. But when you, if you're going to do this, or you need a large hole bead, just put in large hole bead, and it'll give you all of the large beads. And then in the pictures, if you swipe, if you pick one that you like the colors with, and you swipe, it'll give you the inside measurements of the beads. So they they tell you it's not a mystery. Although I think I I think there was a couple that didn't, and there was no reviews on it. So I just bypassed them because I'm I'm not gonna chase the measurements down. Uh, you know, buy them then. <laughs> oh, by the way, it doesn't fit. So let's see. Bottom of it is yellow, and I got no yellow in here. <laughs> well, that's okay, but no, that doesn't go. What about this one that rolled away? Does that one look terrible? Not as blingy. I gotta check to see how far. How many beads can I get on here? Okay, so we've got some space. So I could put this spacer, either this one or the blinged out one at the top. And that would give me a tight fit. And I think that's pretty limited on... Oh, that's a pretty pink. Oh, what's in there? Is that supposed to be flowers too? Or is it paint splash? It can be paint splash. All right, so we're gonna go with the bling at the top, and I don't know if I really want that rainbow one in there because it doesn't look high end enough. It looks playful, not high end. Yeah, I could put this one in too. I guess we'll find out, huh? I mean, you can play with it and see what you like, what you don't like. They show you the beads pretty good. So it's not a mystery what beads you get, unless they say assorted. And then you're definitely not going to know which you get. Actually, I think... Because of the colors that I have, I think I'm going to double up with this one to handle that color. This may be even just too many. And put that bead. That's pretty. It looks elegant. Do you want to stick this one here? I don't know. Might do another. This may not. That may not even work. It may be just too many. Okay. See, it may be move. I don't know if I need to add some more spacers in there so it's tight. But I may try that that way. I don't know for sure if I can keep the beads from going anywhere. So I don't want them to like shift around on me is what I'm trying to do. Not trying to get shifted. And this might be just one too many. Okay, line them up a little bit better. And I'm not even sure. I can't remember. I think I measured the pin. And I can't remember 
what the whiff is. <laughs> so let's see. I have this tool. Which they actually sell. <laughs> and it does the digital measurements. Oops. Zero it out. And then I can open it just so slightly. And it's 0 0.07 is how thick it is. So, when you go shopping for beads, 0 0.07 is how thick this is. So, undone, done. I think that is actually pretty. Really like it. It's a fancy pen. And if you wanted to, to ensure that nothing moves and it stays put where you align it, you could actually even glue this together, glue the beads together. And it would be a permanent. You don't have to glue it to the rod, but you could glue the beads so that they are one piece. And just know that there's a gap where you don't see anything. So you could actually put something that you don't care if it just a filler. Which I might swap the little beads and put this inside because it's got a big enough gap inside that I think it would hide. I don't really care too much for that bead, but it's a good filler. So this is the creative process. You tuck, redo, redo. <laughs> Or at least that's my process. When I see something that I'm like, mm, it looked good in my head. Just not working out. So now I don't know if that's going to work. The open, nope, the opening's too big. Or the bead's too big. So, just so you know that you will possibly lose some of your pretty inside the the neck there unless you just keep stacking those until it fills in if you don't want to do a bead at the bottom that because I may end up doing that because that would probably look better and this is loose too so the hole is very big. So I probably need a bigger bead at the top to go flush up against this. And then it may keep these beads in a little more stable position. And actually get beads that are, because I forgot my measurements when I was ordering this. And so, I think it's cute. And the pens actually write pretty good. It's got a nice, smooth flow to the point. And then I wanted to check this to see if it, it dried pretty good. Even that dried good. So I'm going to say yes on the ink pads and yes on the finger ink pads. Because I mean, geez, the finger ink, ink ones, 20 of them and 20 colors. That's a win. So I'm going to say yes to these. And yes to these. Worth the money. For sure.
so I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm going to clean up my mess. <laughs> Put some of this away. Make room for the next one. And I think that one will be out tomorrow night. All right. Any questions, just let me know. And I will answer them right away for you. Thanks. See you on the next one. Bye.